know. But I don't want to leave any stone unturned or no questions about who I am or what I represent. So here you go. I grew up in the deep gutter, raised by wolves, church steeples in a single white mother, taught to be blind to any color by hippies who've been smoking weed since the 60s with dudes and hands up for bed covers, rock and roll, country... What's up, what's up everyone? How's everybody doing tonight? So we're going to take this uh, reaction video, kind of put a curve into it. Um, now, I know some of my reaction videos, you know, it's been about Ryan Upchurch and his videos and stuff. But um, <clears throat> I, I want to try to do... A variety of reaction videos to some other artists just not Ryan Upchurch um, I want I want to do some independent artists and then I want to do some artists that um, who are signed and so tonight tonight we're going to kind of take it to the right a little bit so this artist that you just heard at the beginning of this video is Yellow Wolf, if you didn't already know. Um, Yellow Wolf, he is, I, I think he's one of the realest, the truest um, artist out there who is signed to a label as of right now. And, and I don't listen to much radio anymore I, I i got bluetooth and that's what i listen to in the in the vehicles that's what i listen to at work i listen to stuff that i connect to a bluetooth and listen to this stuff it's on my playlist now my playlist is a lot of ryan upchurch stuff and a lot of yellow wolf um a lot of other independent artists um there are a couple that uh on there is Payday and, and them, um, Aaron Calhoun, all of them. Um, so, <clears throat> but one of the artists I do have on my playlist that I listen to a lot at work as well with Ryan Upchurch is uh, Yellow Wolf. Yellow Wolf is very humble. He is true. He is, uh, uh, he, he uh, became and made a name of himself. And I like Yellow Wolf because Yellow Wolf, um, reminds me a lot of Ryan Upchurch, their attitudes, and, uh, they, uh, don't let the money, uh, fog up their brain, if that makes sense. Um, there's a lot of people out there that will do anything and everything at the beginning of their career, hang out with their fans, bring them to backstage, party with them, whatever uh hang out talk to them if they're out on their harleys they see people at the gas station and people will come over hey what's up what's up and they don't blink an eye and they just stand there and bullshit with them talk about motorcycles talk about the life style talk about where they came from you know what i mean and that's one thing i like about yellow wolf and ryan upchurch is these both artists one's got a uh, a record deal and the other one's an independent they both remind me of Johnny Cash Elvis they got a little bit of Kid Rock with them you, you see what I'm saying just like Kid Rock I got Kid Rock on my playlist too you know even though these Yellow Wolf and Kid Rock is signed to a record label. They're humble. They're human. Uh, you get some of these artists that you know try to make it on, make it in the independent, and then uh, you get a a record company calling out their names and everything else, and they go running, and then they throw millions of dollars down in front of them, then they sign, and then they become a dick. They they don't want to be hanging out with fans 
anymore. They don't. They just want to do what the what the label wants them to do. Does that make sense? And uh, with Yellow Wolf, you know, like I said, the, like I guarantee you, if I pulled into a gas station, I seen Yellow Wolf, or I went to a grocery store, or if I went to a mall, if I went anywhere, and I ran into Yellow Wolf. I guarantee if I asked him for an autograph, he would stand there and be like, yo, bro, come over here. I do a, I do an autograph and a picture with you. Even if he was out to dinner. Now, there are fine lines. You know, if you got your family out to dinner and you guys are eating there, you're having a good, you know, hey, give me a second. Let me uh, finish up my dinner with, with the family and then go, go hit it with the fans. You see what I'm saying? But there's a lot of people out there that money fogs the brain, man. Their money, their money will fog the brain. <clears throat> and what I mean by that is when they come into a lot of money, they think they're better than everybody else. And that's one thing I like about Ryan Upchurch, and that's why I like Kid Rock. That's why I like uh, Yellow Wolf, because and some of the other independent artists like i said i don't listen to a lot of the radio no more but these kid rock and yellow wolf is on my playlist even though they're not independent but <clears throat> they support the independent artists don't get me wrong they support the independent artists and that's what i like about yellow wolf and kid rock they know what's going on behind the scenes. So they they rather see those independent artists do what they're doing right now. Now, with that being said, let's listen to this Yellow Wolf. And honestly, it is to... The song is called, by Yellow Wolf, it's called To Whom It Concerns. That's what the song name is. The song title. The title of this song. Music and cocaine. One hand on the Bible and the Ouija board and the other. The irony of the doll is so thick that a flower gets stuck in the thin air that don't smoke. Then it's get it in Michael Jackson. Practicing moonwalking with a broomstick in the kitchen. Popping and locking. No BET. And I love how he's telling the story. I love how he's telling this story. It's... It's just life. He's telling a real fucking story. The vision. We didn't have it. We had the rabbit. The tin full. Mason jar on the counter full of bacon. Now looking back. Talking about freedom. Yeah, you was born. And that's, that's funny. Uh, where he says bacon oil. On the counter. Or a tin can on the counter filled with bacon oil. You know, you know that's country right there. Because... My mom, and I still do it to this day, my mom will, uh, when she cooks bacon, or, yeah, when she cooks bacon, she will take a mason jar, and she will, when she's done cooking that bacon, she will pour the bacon grease into the mason jar, then she puts a lid on it, and then puts it on the counter, then that way, when she wants to make scrambled eggs later on, or whatever, you still got that little taste of bacon when you're making your scrambled eggs, that's what I like, and I like how he said that. If you listen very carefully, he says that in this. And a single white mother taught to be blind to any color by hippies who've been smoking weed since the 60s with dudes and hassle for bed covers. Rock and roll, country music, and cocaine. One hand on the Bible and the Ouija board and the other. The irony of the doll is so thick that a flower gets stuck in the thin air and don't smoke. Then it's getting in Michael Jackson. Practicing moonwalking with a broomstick in the kitchen. Popping and locking. No BET on television. We didn't have it. We had the rabbit, the tin foil. Mason jar on the counter full of bacon oil. Now looking back. And that's the thing right there, you know, back in the day when I was growing up, all what we had was TV and, and, uh, Atari, uh, Game Boy, um, what else, uh, PlayStation, Sega, you, you see what I'm saying, Nintendo, those are the kind of game systems I had, so once you beat the game, 
when you're done beating that game, what else do you got to do? You got to go outside and play, right? Now, I wasn't allowed to leave my yard. I wasn't allowed to leave my yard. I wasn't allowed to hang out with friends or anything like that. But I did have a basketball hoop out there in my driveway. And then only time I was allowed to go hang out with my friends is when my mom was home. I would go ask my mom, hey, can I go down to my buddies? Yeah, sure. Can I go down to the school and play? Yeah, sure. Can I go over to the, the middle school and and uh, play football? Yeah, sure. You know, but when when my sister's dad was around, I wasn't allowed to go outside very much. Or if I did go outside, I wasn't allowed to leave my yard. And uh, so that's what I like, you know, because honestly, when I was in at home in my room, cable TV, black and white. I remember black and white. And then I remember it coming color. And then I remember all the old TV shows like Dukes of Hazard, uh, Bart Simpson. Um, what else? Uh, you know, you got all those, you know, Wheel of Fortune and stuff, you know, all those old TV shows, man. And that's the thing. A lot of people say I was spoiled. I was not spoiled. I came from a hard life. And see, and that's the thing with these guys is it don't matter if you're... It, it, when you're an independent artist, everybody thinks that person came already rich. Uh, that's how they thought Yellow Wolf was. He came out already rich. No, they work their asses off to get where they are today. And that's the thing. They never had a handout. Listen to Ryan Upchurch's music. He talks about living in mobile homes, living in his car, uh, you know, scrounging up a dollar just to get something to eat. Just like Yellow Wolf, you know, same background. But they didn't want to live that life. They wanted to help their family. They wanted to help themselves out. They didn't want to suffer like like watching their parents did. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm trying to do. You know, I don't want to live the life that I lived in the past. I don't want to live the life that my parents lived paycheck by paycheck. That's why I'm starting my own business. That's why I do the stuff I do in my garage. That's why I work a full-time 10-hour, 50-hour week job see what i'm saying the place my lowest on the southern store the blood and the pain left the weak cool the creek waters home secrets ghost of confederate veterans in the wind backwoods are haunted with the death in the sand slave ships carry the dark souls wicked white men slaughtering angels with a fucking barcode we bear these wicked ways the world is still turning and these motherfuckers with the crosses is still burning yeah, I seen them at the courthouse. Not really sure what they're trying to prove still. Jumped up the mountains, they still trying to move hills. And the daughters probably listen to Drew Hill. Pussy hotter than blue steel for Drew Hill. So Jesus gonna take the weird, no you. See, I just love what he's saying. Because it is. It's life. It's true life. So we're going to fast forward it a little bit. So we don't get a copyright. We're going to fast forward it. And that's the thing, man. This government's got us so screwed up anymore. Back in the 40s and 50s and 30s, it was all divided. It was all divided. Whites sit with whites, blacks sit with blacks, whites eat with whites, blacks eat with blacks. Then it, then it finally came together. Then we finally came together. Now it's 2023 and what, what's happening again? What's happening again? We're getting divided again. The government's trying to divide us again. And that's the thing. I do not like, I do not like to be divided because we all are equal. 
Some of us caught their dreams a little bit faster. Some of us got money a little bit faster. Some of us are still down here in the gutter trying to make it. Some of us have a criminal record, and, and this is what pisses me off. The people that have a criminal record cannot get a job. Because a lot of factories, a lot of grocery stores, a lot of other places will not hire them. And I think that's wrong. It don't matter. Okay, you screwed up in your past. So what? You went to prison for four years. So fucking what? As long as you're not a child molester or, or a rapist. I think... You should be able to get a job. If you went to prison for four or five years for for something you did in the past, okay. If you went to prison four or five years, maybe longer, and you just got out and you went in for drug-related charges or theft or something like that, okay. So what? Those people can change. The reason why they don't change is because... Nobody's giving them the option to change because they're being divided. See what I'm saying? And that's what I like how Yellow Wolf said that right there. Because everybody thought he was racist just because he said a word or whatever. Started taking it personal because I treat people equal, homie. I got mixed kids and music is high fever. Lo and behold, as I'm saying this, I discover this evil white boy went in the church and killed nine innocent people. God damn. Hold on, moment of silence. And see, that's the thing. You got kids killing kids. When advertising on YouTube, I know that. You got kids killing kids today. Young kids. You have 5 to 12 year olds, 13 year olds taking guns to school. You got people out there saying, oh, you know, guns kill people, guns kill people. We need to take our guns off the market. Guns don't kill people. People kill people. Guns don't kill people, man. People kill people. That's just like when, uh, for an example, you know, when someone gets shot by a gun, everybody blames that gun. Oh, if, if they didn't have a way to get that gun, nobody would have got hurt. Okay. Now this. I didn't hear nobody say, oh, if they had that bottle of alcohol, that family of four would never got killed. So you're telling me, you're telling me a gun kills people, not the person behind the gun. They're not blaming that. They're blaming the gun. So does that mean when a drunk driver hits head on a family of four and kills them whose fault is it is it the car or the guy behind the wheel i never hear anybody complaining about the car killed that person oh if he if he didn't have access to that car he would have never killed those people right right my point exactly my point exactly Nine innocent church going with people get burned. There's not a word I can utter. There's not a rhyme I can say. There ain't no fixing that ever. Those people brutally slay. They ain't never refuse to see ways to justify the blame of motherfuckers. It's I remember my friends with no differences. What big me is relative.
positive, as in it, maybe by 2050 for me, over it, big crit, I love you homie, keep killing shit, you inspired as first, I got your back and that's limitless, it is what it is, we cannot fix all this ignorance, American flags up, it's over, I'm in this. <laughs> And that's the thing, guys. We are Americans. We live in America. We live in America. And this is what we got to do. We have to stand up for each other. We have to protect each other. And we have to not let this country get pushed around like it has been, guys. And that's one thing about Yellow Wolf songs I like. And that's one thing, how Ryan Upchurch, you know, they voice their opinions. But when you voice your opinion, you get shut down. They try to ban you. They try to take you off the net. They try to, they try to tell you, oh, you're not allowed to say that. You can't say that word. You can't do this. You can't do that. They still control us. We have enough rules. But what's funny is if we break a rule, oh boy, it's bad. But if the government breaks the rules, we keep it quiet. We can't talk about it. Right? Just keep that in mind, man. Just keep that in mind. But with that being said, that was Yellow Wolf. And uh, if you have a chance to listen to his music, he's a very good artist. I think he's very good. Uh, I like it. Um, now, next Saturday and Friday, either Friday or Saturday of this coming up week, next week, uh, I might do, I'm going to do some independent artists. Um, I want to do a I want to do a reaction video. I was thinking about doing a reaction video to one of Payday's songs. Uh, he's just a young man. I think he's uh, either 14 or 15. He's just coming up. Um, he he that boy's got bars. That boy's got got words. He he's got it all. And uh, he's going to have a bright future. So, uh, we will be doing that next week, guys. So, um, like I said, these are my first reaction videos. I'm just starting to get into it. So, if there's anything you guys think I need to change or work on, please leave it down in the comment. I would love to hear you guys' comments below. So... I can work on it a little bit. Like I said, I'm new to this. I'm not new to YouTube, but I am new to the reaction videos. So, uh, with that being said, Joker 1014's out. Always stay true. Always stay positive to yourself. And if you have a dream, go for it. Go for it. Put all your cards in. Put all your chips in and go for it. Do not let anybody tell you. You cannot chase your dreams you can you just have to work hard very hard trust me for the past four years i've been chasing my dreams and i'm still chasing i'm still chasing it with that being said guys i talk to you all later i love you seeing you in the next video